Well, hello again. We're going to talk about using your DocuCam and simultaneously using your board to annotate over the top of live images from the DocuCam. This has been a point of confusion for a lot of people, and uh, everybody's got a little bit different method. I'm going to show you the method I use that I find to be quick and easy. It may be the one you're using too, but give it a look and uh, see what you think. It takes only about eight seconds. So once you get the hang of this, from nothing on your board at all, no programs, you, in eight seconds you'll be able to get your DocuCam image up there and begin annotating using all of the touch recognition and all of the features of the board. So what I'd like to do is do a quick run through without instruction just to let you see the process and just how quick this can be once you get the hang of it. After I've done that, then I'll go back, I'll take you through the process step by step and make sure that you understand how to do it. And remember to, down at the uh, right, the bottom right corner of your YouTube video, go ahead and uh, check the resolution. You'll and you'll want to put it on like 480p or high definition. You'll get a better image. Okay. So I'm going to show you real quickly, and then I'll take you through step by step. So let's pretend that we have closed down the board, and we're starting fresh from. A blank screen. Here we go. You can time me if you want. Okay, and just that quickly, we're able to annotate a live math page, for example, that I have on the DocuCam, and uh, we've got full interactivity. I can, I can write, I can select, I can size, I can rotate, I can even text recognize if I want. All of the things that, that you could normally do in Smart Notebook, because the fact is, we actually are in Smart Notebook here. What it is, is it's just an invisible version. So if I were to make a mark here, I could prove that by taking us out of transparency mode. And what you'll discover is that I actually made the mark on, uh, in the notebook software. It's just that uh, it's allowing us to see what's behind it. In this case, it was the docket cam. Okay, so how did I do it? Let's start again. Start from scratch. Number one key is start with the pens in the board. Why? Well, because if you've got a pen out, that's when you end up with that pesky ink layer that keeps popping up. So step one is pen in the tray. Okay? So if you're writing this down or you're pausing, that's what you do, pen in the tray. Step two, open up to a blank notebook page. Okay, and if you're already in the notebook page and you just want to get a blank, just hit the new page and get to a blank. Okay, so step one was pen. Step two, notebook blank page. Step three, hit the transparency button, which is a little monitor that looks like it's got a gray and white checkerboard pattern on it. Okay, then just simply click on your DocuCam program and hit the maximize or the full screen button, which is just below the red X. Now, pick up your pens, okay? And then you can make annotations as you please. And again, you've got full smart board uh, functionality. If I can just hit the uh, little thing on target there. And you can erase, etc., without damaging your page. Okay, now to get out, how do you do that? Number one thing is, put the pen back in the tray. Otherwise, it's going to, instead of clicking on the DocuCam exit, buttons. It's going to think you're trying to write. So put your pen back down and for LUSD people you click down here and you'll see this little thing pop up. I've got mine set to disappear quickly but you're going to hit that and you're going to hit the word half H-A-L-F. Half screen is what that stands for. And then you simply close the dock again. Okay? Now if you want to go back to notebook just hit transparency again and you're back in normal notebook. Okay? So if that was quick, and it was, beauty of YouTube, hit that pause button, drag the slider back, and go through the steps on your laptop while you follow along on your board. All right, so that's the routine. Try it out, and you will very quickly be annotating live images on your DocuCam in about eight seconds. Thanks for watching.